and welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this episode, we will review the IDIS Center VMS software. IDIS Center is the free, fully featured video management system that works seamlessly with our DirectIP NVRs and DirectCX HD TVI TVR solutions. IDIS Center is a standalone client derived from our flagship IDIS Solution Suite Enterprise platform. With IDIS Center, all video recording is done on the NVR and IDIS Center can connect to multiple NVRs across multiple sites. The site or device tree is located here. Most commonly, a device in IDIS Center will be an NVR or TVR, although in some special cases, a camera can be directly connected for live monitoring. These are examples of different NVRs for IP cameras and TVRs for HD TVI cameras connected to IDIS Center. Clicking on the arrow will expand the device to show the individual cameras attached to each recorder. It is worth noting that IP, HD, TVI, or analog cameras can be monitored simultaneously using IDIS Center. Device groups are logical groups of cameras that can be organized for easy access to view live or recorded video. These groups can contain cameras from different NVRs and even different locations. Just like NVR devices or cameras, these groups may be dragged into any layout in a Live or Play tab. Custom layouts and layout sequences, maps, panic recording, and browsers will be reviewed later. Text filters are useful for finding specific cameras or objects within the site system. Simply start typing and the list will be filtered by the text input. The Instant Event pane contains a log of all monitoring events from the entire site. This includes security events, such as motion and tampering, as well as maintenance type events, such as video loss and recording failure. The IDIS platform also performs a callback feature whereby certain event types can be directed to specific users. The camera panes, or camera slots, are the heart of the IDIS Center system. The size of each pane is dependent on the chosen layout. The bulk of operations in IDIS Center are via the drag and drop method. Individual cameras can be selected and dragged into specific panes in the layout. The entire NVR device can also be dragged into the layout. This will populate all visible tiles starting from the mouse pointer location. In the same way, complete layouts may be dragged into the view window either for live viewing or playback. Layouts are very useful for displaying cameras and objects together in each operator's preferred format. This particular layout demonstrates many different monitoring features of the IDIS Center VMS. The three panes outlined in blue are set as event panes. Event panes will be automatically populated by cameras that trigger motion events. The dwell time is user definable. Maps are a very useful feature to provide situational awareness of camera locations and alarm triggers. Any background image can be used and cameras from the site tree can be placed onto the map. Clicking on a camera icon produces a preview of the camera. Camera icons can be animated with color and effects to indicate motion or other event types. In this case, map events are automatically populated in the three event panes sequentially. Another useful feature of IDIS Center is the browser object. A camera pane can be assigned as a web browser display pane. 
This allows the user to monitor a critical website or intranet page without leaving the IDA Center application. This feature can also be used to integrate a web-based access control system or configure OnViv camera web servers. Inside every camera pane, a set of on-screen controls are displayed which are relevant to the selected camera. For example, this camera features PTZ controls. Click the joystick icon for PTZ control. IDA Center features are advanced UX controls and the camera direction and speed are controlled with effortless mouse movement. IDA Center also extends UX control functions into our very unique fisheye camera dewarping. IDA's fisheye cameras feature 5 megapixel resolution with a full 360 degree view, providing situational awareness and monitoring of large areas with minimal camera counts. These fisheye cameras provide unique surveillance features when combined with IDA Center dewarping controls. Simple mouse movements transform the fisheye view into normal camera views with EPTZ controls. The main video stream may also be divided into multiple camera views and each view independently controlled. Each view may be animated to provide a continuously panning image to further extend the surveillance capabilities. Other on-screen controls include focus and zoom for MFZ cameras, instant playback, audio listen, and talk buttons, color control, and digital zoom. Instant playback is accessed directly from the live view without the need to switch to play tabs and the user can choose various time frames for review. Instant playback also allows frame-by-frame -frame review either by on-screen control or finer mouse wheel scrolling. During instant playback, a timeline progress bar with thumbnail preview is visible, which can be used for skimming through the playback video to isolate an event. There are a number of different tabs in the IDA Center VMS, and we have already seen the live tabs used for monitoring live cameras. There can be up to four live tabs simultaneously. Play tabs are for viewing recorded video and share some features with live tabs. Play tab camera panes are populated by drag and drop, just like live tabs, and may be viewed in different layouts. Playback controls refer to the timeline below, which shows the date and time of the current video position. The dark blue marks indicate motion events for easy event location. The timeline may be expanded to refine video position with one minute resolution. Fish ID warping is also possible during playback. This is one of the unique features of the fish eye camera as the full 360 degree view is always recorded.
Searches can be performed in many ways and can include multiple cameras. Just select the date, time, and event type filters required. Event on play allows a region to be defined and the recorded video to be sampled at high speed to detect motion events. Motion event snapshots will generate snapshots of all events so that the correct event can be quickly chosen for review or export. Recorded video can be easily exported from IDIS Center. Simply mark the time section of video you would like to export and choose which cameras to include in the exported clip. The start and end time can be adjusted if required. The exported video clip will include the video player, which has built-in controls for changing camera layouts as well as fisheye dewarping. Other tab pages include a System Health tab, which provides an overview of total system health. This includes all devices connected to the IDIS Center client. The Reporting tab features a powerful report generator. Reports available include user, device, and monitoring logs. Reports may be saved or printed by date range. NVR devices may be dragged into the Status tab for a live view of the device status indicators. This provides an easy overview of device features currently activated as well as diagnostic status indicators. The Self-Diagnosis tab provides real-time and historical diagnostics for the NVR device. These tests, including network connection tests, are performed when the report is initiated and provides real indication of internal or network issues. Tabs may be disconnected and shifted to other monitors for a multi-monitor surveillance deployment. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and please see our other videos for more information on how to configure IDIS Center and other IDIS products.